Obviously, there are a lot of hot commodities, a lot of hot prospects that are on the transfer portal out in the transfer market, but very few are as hot as Donovan Kaufman is. And Donovan has been so gracious to sit down and talk to me just a little bit about his recruiting process and what's been going on you know, over there. So Donovan, first of all, thank you for joining on where I appreciate it. Uh, how you doing, man? How's everything been holding up? I'm sure it's like a, like recruiting 2.0 for you, right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy all over again. It's just like, um, I mean, it then kind of slowed down a little bit cause I slowed it down uh, a lot of schools. A lot of schools reached out, but Really, if I wasn't, you know, interested in it, I'd just be like, I'd just tell them, hey, I already know where I'm going. I'm not interested. Just to like, so I won't have all them phone calls. And because I'm still trying to finish school. Like, I have exams this week. I have an exam tomorrow. And then I'll be done. So I'm just trying to like mellow things out and just get through it. So, I mean, so you've been doing, it's been hot and heavy for the past couple of weeks. You, you're slowing it down, I'm assuming that you've kind of like narrowed down your list. So you, can you share with me the, the, the teams that you've kind of fo have like focused in on and, and zoomed in on that? Like what we've heard is, you know, Texas and Auburn are kind of like your top two, but I'd rather hear from the horse's mouth. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Texas and Auburn, that's really what it's coming down to. Okay. Okay. So tell me, tell me what you like about, you know, each program, you know, right now, you can, you know, start, start with Auburn, go, go to Texas. Uh, I mean, well, I can really tell you both. Uh, they yeah. both have uh, new head coaches, so new staffs, you know, that they're going to be there for at least, let's just say at least three years. So, and I'm trying to be there three and out. So I'll be starting with a new staff. Um, so we'll be starting fresh and both teams are capable of winning it all. So they both won natties before. Like, so it's nothing new to them. Like all they, they just missing that piece to get back, you know, just like a lot of other schools, but also feel like uh, I know people on both staff also, so I know that I'll be taken care of if I do go there. So, who do you know in the Auburn staff? Who you know in the Texas staff? Uh, Auburn staff, I know Coach Mason, uh, B. Lou, uh, Coach uh, Etheridge, and on Texas staff, I know Coach Carday, Coach Q, um, uh, Taylor, uh, and Jason Grooms. Okay. Okay, so what kind of plays into like your, your decision making process? I mean, it, because clearly you played at Vanderbilt, so I'm sure you're not necessarily worried about playing time, right? So uh, it, it's about where I'm, you know, what's going to make you feel comfortable for you to kind of pull your second trigger here, as far as you know, commitment is concerned. Uh, really, it's about the right fit for me, and what that is is just somewhere where I feel like I can develop, um, also build my brand at. Uh, because, you know, with the image and likeness thing coming out. Um, so Austin would be a great city for that. I mean, it's huge. Like, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. And just somewhere where I feel comfortable. Yeah, absolutely. Absolute. The image and likeness is, is pretty big. Has, is, has each kind of school given you a presentation of what you could potentially have, you know, through, you know, the Instagram and, and Snapchats and TikToks and how you can build your brand at, at each program has that they kind of outlined that for you? Uh, we haven't really got too much into it. Uh, really, honestly, it's really about football right now. And I'm not gonna lie, I have no problem with that because that's what I love to do. Football. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, tell me, you know, what kind of led into the I'll ask you a couple more questions. Let's go. What, what led you into kind of going into the transfer portal? Because you did, you had a great season. Uh, you were viewed as you know, you're the quarterback of the defense, you know, from everything I've read up on you. So what, why, why walk away from that and, and try something new? Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Vandy. I love Nashville. Uh, I love my coach, the coaching staff, but it was just, you know, I mean, I had, I had caught myocarditis uh, and I had to sit the rest and that really played a big role. So it really like, by me being so far from home, it was like, like, cause I really, cause your people, you really couldn't visit because of COVID. Yeah, so I was up there by myself, like the rest of that time. So I was just like, man, this is like, this. it was hard. Like for me to go through that. I went through the holidays and stuff without family. I couldn't play football. Like I really had nothing but school. I mean, I had my teammates, my coaches, but that's not nothing like family, you know? Yeah. So yeah. I really just was like something like, it was just something I had to shake. So. 
So you'd like rather be somewhere your your peoples can drive, you know, you know, six hours or whatever the case may be to come to come to see you, check up on you, see you play, all those type of things. Yes, sir. Yeah, so totally. that um, you know, absolutely makes sense. Um, so you said you finished up at school in a little bit. What's kind of your timetable for for making a decision? How how soon do, do you have a, a something in your mind that I want to get it done by this particular date? Uh, well, I, uh, say mid May. Okay, so yeah. so that's like a, a week or two, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so so it, it it might be safe to say you already have an idea of what you're going to do. You just holding off, right? Not really, because uh, you know, yeah, not really. Uh, it's really like I'm still going through the process. Like I, I just had a Zoom with Auburn yesterday. Uh, I had the little campus tour. So then mm -hmm. I with Texas again. Uh, sometime this week, most likely about academics. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That, the, one of the last things I asked you, tell me about your, your, how do you see yourself in both kind of schemes? Like you've seen some a lot of the Texas film, you studied up on Krakowski, I'm sure you've seen the Auburn film. How do you see yourself fitting in in, in either team or both, you know, what do you think you bring to the table in either one of those defenses? Uh, I mean, first, what I bring to the table, I'm a football player. Like, I don't – it's, like, it's no part of my game that – I get that question a lot. People uh, ask me, like, what's, what's, what do you feel like is the best part of your game? Like, I honestly don't know. Like, I just love playing football. Like, I play football. So, first is what I bring to the table, uh, somebody that's dedicated to winning. Uh, I'm a leader, and I, I love football. I love the game. I'm a great teammate. Like, so – and they're going to get my all every day. Uh, last thing, how many sports did you play in high school? Uh, I played basketball, baseball, track, soccer, football, and wrestling. So six. Six. All right. Was there any one of those six that you felt like, I really want to play this? I could play this one in college as well. Was football the only one you felt like you could play in college? Uh, no, I actually uh, I had a couple – uh coaches they were trying to offer me for wrestling but i told them i was playing football and track also mm -hmm. um, a long jump so i definitely could have did those two in college okay so not not so much baseball and not so much uh, nah, uh stopped, basketball yeah i stopped playing baseball i believe my sophomore year because uh uh it was like in the middle of track and like yeah. i love baseball don't get me wrong but it was just i fell in love with track more so what does your Letterman jacket look like? I mean, did you have enough space for all your stuff? Uh, yeah, I actually have a lot on my Letterman jacket. Them sports plus like the clubs and stuff that I was in in high school. So, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> so you, 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 your, your trophy uh, collection must be pretty nice. So it's pretty much what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, my trophies, I had a lot of trophies like, you know, park ball, because I played a lot of stuff in park ball too when I was younger. So my trophies, like, it take up like the whole section of the house. That's awesome. All right, brother. Hey, good luck to you. And, you know, we, we, we'll, we'll wait for your announcement in another week or two. And, and, you know, good luck to whatever school you choose to attend. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you so much, Donovan. No problem. Be safe.